I'm Lindsay Stahl, and I am an elementary math teacher at Loveland Classical Charter School, and I am a founding teacher and the math department head. I have taught Sing for Math for the past nine years. I've taught every single grade level, first through sixth grade, so I've seen how fantastic this curriculum is. And elementary school is all about developing that grammar and it's so important that they have that solid foundation, that they have um, those math facts, that they have the problem solving skills, that they, if they get to something hard, they can work through that challenge and learn from their mistakes and mistakes are not bad. They're great learning opportunities and it only helps you develop further as a mathematician. Just to give a little background and some history on the curriculum, it originated in Singapore. Their test scores were not very good, so they developed this curriculum. It helped their test scores. It put them kind of on the radar, and then other countries started adopting it. The U.S. adopted it, and a lot of schools um, in the U.S. use this curriculum. Um, something that is unique about this curriculum is it appeals to all types of learners. Um, it begins with the concrete, which means that students do hands-on kinesthetic learning. A lot of times it's with place value blocks, but it can be with other types of things as well. And then it moves on to pictorial, where the students draw a picture to represent their mathematics. And then it moves on to the um, abstract, which is more of the algorithm. In, in the upper grades, the students use more of that um, abstract. The lower grades do a lot more hands-on kinesthetic learning. Math facts play a huge role in this curriculum. It's super important that we develop the students' automaticity. Um, it really helps them when they're working out more challenging problems and it is a huge part of the, the curriculum to have that foundation. I can tell with my fifth graders, the students who have those memorized and have that automaticity, how much easier the mathematics is for them. A lot of the topics stay the same throughout the elementary school, but every time the students see that topic, um, it it repeats, but then it also deepens. For example, place value starts in first grade and continues all the way up into fifth grade. And every time the students see that, they it repeats, but it also builds and deepens and it's a spiraling curriculum. So Singapore math really develops those problem solving skills. There's a lot of word problems after the students learn their grammar. A lot of times there are different strategies that are shown in the book. Um, and I try to encourage the students to pick the strategy that resonates best with them, with them or makes the most sense with them. But at the end of the day, math is math numbers do the same thing. I think it's just the way it's presented. It encourages different methods and different strategies and getting students to think in different ways. And if their parents have a different strategy to encourage them to not just think in one box, but um, think in different types of boxes. Or if a student um, presents a different strategy in class um, to share that with each other. So there are a lot of curriculums out there, a lot of different approaches, a lot of parents get overwhelmed and confused, but Singapore math is more familiar to parents and families than maybe some of those other curriculums that are out there. Um, what I think is really positive and strong about Loveland Classical is that we have stuck with that curriculum. And I think that consistency really helps with the students.